Every day we receive thousands of terrible VHS tapes and DVDs. Some are so fucking weird we don't exactly know what to do with them. That's why the Wheel of the Worst was designed. It's a torture device for the modern age. The wheel is spun three times. Each spin selects a video at random for the group to watch, and then evaluate which video is the best of the worst. Oh, the Plinketto board. That sure worked out great. We picked a bunch of winners there. Maybe randomly selecting VHS tapes is a terrible idea. Hey Mike, let's film a wheel of the worst. Oh, what's this? Oh, thank God. No, Mike, no! There are better ways to kill yourself. Oh? Yeah, have you considered like, like a hanging? But this is instantaneous. But what about pills then? What, like aspirin? Or, or if you can afford it, maybe heroin. Oh, you like... Could, you could really go out with a bang then. Well, this is going out with a bang. I, I guess it's true. How would you kill yourself? I mean, it may as well be memorable. Maybe, maybe I could be like the guy who, who jumps off the Freedom Tower. Oh. Uh, From the very top. Would you know? wear a postman's uniform and say air mail? <laughs> or 9-11 was an inside job! By the plane that's flying into the Freedom Tower on my way down after I'm committing suicide? I guess it was it! <laughs> <laughs> well, Rich, we have many new tapes on the Wheel of the Worst to terrorize and tantalize ourselves. Yes, our first video is sponsored by Tyco, it's Video Driver. California Chase Road Race. What is that? Look, it's like a California license plate. Oh, Sega? Oh, you explain, sir. I don't know what the fuck this is. At first, I thought that was a blockbuster videotape. It's I, Sega. I guess it's just Sega and Tyco. Is this that little period of time when they had like the interactive videos, like Captain Power, where you shoot your gun at the TV? I don't have any idea what the fuck this is, and quite frankly, I don't care. Our next tape is Strong Kids, Safe Kids, A Family Guide, starring Fonzie. He's doing the Fonzie thing, too. I can't believe ABC let him get away with stealing their intellectual property. Yeah, that's true. Uh, unless he's uh, doing something else with those thumbs and the kids. And then it's really What? Like what? Uh, I, don't, I can't... Well, I, uh, what, I, what are you implying with that now? Well, I was just I, implying I, that yeah. you give some thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. Thumbs up. Okay. Thumbs up I, what? Are you some kind of weird sex pervert? Don't you dare turn this around on me, mister. That's I what, turned it around on you first. That's no what, backsies. That's what Henry Winkler said. Uh, Mr. T's be somebody or somebody's fool. Oh, that's like the thing he says. Oh, no, no. It's not an option. It's, it's, it's a, it's more like a, it's an ultimatum. Like be somebody or be somebody's fool. I think. Is it, is it both? He want, you can be somebody or be somebody's fool? Well, or is it an or else? It's kind of like, well, there's, there's two kinds of people. People who like spaghetti and people who don't. It's just a bind. Yeah, obviously you're in one of those okay. two categories. I prefer to be somebody's fool. Okay. Uh, so I don't know. I, I'd like to see the, the segment of the tape about that part. Well, it, well I, I am the expert. I can tell you it's no picnic. Okay, yeah, I know. Listen, let's just continue on. So this film, there's a bunch of children down there as well. So we got two like 80s celebrities and kids. So they're, 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 they're Stranger Danger videos. These are very similar actually. Um, but our next film, uh, which I think we had on the, the board before, and I would prefer that films that were on the board were not on the board again. Especially ones that look like crap. Especially ones that look like crap. Somebody put this up here. It's called Baby Vision, your baby's own video. Nobody gives a shit. It's babies. Nobody likes babies. All right. We had this one up here before. Someone really wants to see it. Um, <laughs> because someone needs to know how to seduce women through hypnosis. Rich, why did you put this up on the board? 
I did not put this up on the board. You put this up on the board. I didn't touch the board today. Is Josh around? I, I can't hear somebody ex laboriously explaining the plot of how to seduce women through hypnosis, so I'm gonna say that Josh is not around. Now, we recently watched uh, Civil War, Captain America Civil War, mm -hmm. and you and Jay and I had a challenge of who would bring up Batman versus Superman. First, mm -hmm. I propose the same challenge. If the wheel lands on this, whoever brings up rape first gets the buzzer. Okay. Let's try to go our entire discussion without saying the R word. Well, you just kind of violated that, didn't well, you? Well, no, I'm explaining the rules. It doesn't okay, matter. Okay. okay. How can I get naked real fast? <laughs> I'm sorry, how can I make real friends? Is that, is that how you make friends? You get naked real fast? I thought it said, how can I get naked real fast? Rich? So you read, you read young people ask, and you read that as, how can I get naked? No, 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 I, this I'm, part. I didn't even see what that oh, said. Oh, okay, okay. I thought that said young people ass. <laughs> now, Rich, um, I, I know you know nothing about how you can make real friends, so I won't ask you to explain that. Our next video is how to get revenge. Starring Linda Blair. Who we should all know as The Exorcist. I was gonna jokingly name like another movie she was in, but she was in nothing else of note. The Exorcist 2. Was she in The Exorcist 2? I don't know. I haven't seen The Exorcist 2. You have to ask two. Jay. Jay, is, is Linda Blair in The Exorcist 2? She is. She is? Oh, I didn't know that. But Linda Blair is The Exorcist, so. Well, in the film, no, the she's, Exorcist. she's not the exorcist. That's the priest is the ex. She's like a possessed girl, but she's not the exorcist. It's like Frankenstein's monster. I know. I was waiting for Jay to correct me. Oh, I'm busy running the camera. I'm not gonna correct. Next, please. Uh, UPC codes and six six six. Beware the mark of the beast. Now this harkens back to an earlier wheel of the worst. <laughs> Did you know we found out after the fact that SOS, that video, was, was from the, the, was it the Children of God cult? Oh. They, they abuse children. They're the same cult that uh, River Phoenix family came oh, from. Oh, really? Yes. Interesting. Yes. So they were horrible, horrible people in real life. Oh. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So they made a horrible, horrible video. Well, Rich. Why don't you spin the wheel and let's find out which tape you can learn from first. All right. Oh, oh fuck shit. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, off we go. Wow, that, that really worked out perfectly for you. I see you redesigned the wheel. I am, I really, where's that gun? Where is that gun? Where did you put that gun? I'll be using it later. I'm gonna find that gun, you son of a bitch! The following program is broken up into segments. First, we will discuss what hypnosis is all about. Oh, God. Second, we will talk about finding a subject who will be a willing participant and who is hypnotizing? A drunk woman at the bar! <laughs> Number one, get her liquored up. Number two, nothing. You could bring that. Now describe what he's doing to you. His hands are between my legs. He is touching. Very good. As he puts his heart on into your body, notice how excited you are. Your heart is pounding harder. You're breathing faster. Warm. Okay, now wake up and fuck me! That's what this should been called. Wake up and fuck me. Now, now wake up and fuck me. Uh oh, he's got his. Oh my god. Oh! Is that his hand? That's his hand. Oh, she's not awake yet. Okay, yeah. Who'd have thought this tape would have been creepy? Well, Jay, let's watch something that's something else. I think that's a fabulous idea. 
Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh. All right, with Linda Blair. How serious is this video going to be? I th is it going to be a serious attempt to explain how to get revenge on people? Wouldn't that be fantastic? What else could it be? I, a joke video? Do you remember Leslie Nielsen's golf videos? That wasn't how to really play golf. Are you thinking of Tim Conway's golf videos? No, Leslie Nielsen did the poor man's Tim Conway golf videos. Oh my God. Yeah. So is this the poor man's Tim Conway's Leslie Nielsen's how-to video. I, I don't know, but I'm sure this video will turn heads. All right, let's go. from Rich just running into a camera. Maybe you remember this classic bit of adolescent revenge. The idea was to fill a paper bag with fresh animal droppings. The fresher, the better. You can't say poop? This is a classy, uh, Production. A classy yeah. revenge video, you're right. Knock on the victim's front door, then run to his backyard. Then when the victim arrived, usually the neighborhood grouch, he'd have no choice but to put out the fire. Oh! Meanwhile... Oh, he'd poop on his shoes! ...check carpeting with animal droppings. Well, I think that this is serious. It makes it really weird. <laughs> There's a few miscellaneous ideas you might try out in your marks. Sending a letter is a beautiful trick, and it works so simply. All you need is a plain piece of paper, and you cut out the letters from magazine or newspaper. <laughs> you gotta say, dear so-and-so, I kidnap your child. Now, if he's like most people, he's got something he's doing that he shouldn't be doing, and he's gonna feel guilty, and he's gonna wonder who knows about it. <laughs> and even if he hasn't done anything recently, you're gonna drive him up the wall wondering why anybody would send something like this to him. Now, if your mark is a member of the minority, you might turn him over to the immigration service. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> a member of the minority. <laughs> that, everyone who's a minority is here illegally. <laughs> that one minority. <laughs> oh, by the way, when do I get paid for this? Ah, oh, don't worry. The check's in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's a visitor with an Linda Blair. <laughs> this is more upsetting than the rape video. <laughs> Jack. Mike. It's time for you to spin the wheel. Mm -hmm. And you better land on something good. Because I've just learned plenty of ways to get revenge on you. I'm going to hypnotize and rape you. So I really didn't learn anything from the last tape. All right. Here we go. The UPC code 666. Yes! Beware the mark. Let's see, does this have a UPC code on it though? It does, well, oh, that just No, it, that's an explanation of what it means. It does not have a UPC code. That would be very ironic. That would be very hypocritical. That. Okay. Let's go. Mike, over here. Oh, shit. You gotta come over here this way. It's caught on me. I don't, I don't believe you. This UPC design with five bold numbers on either side appears on 95% of all supermarket products. Oh. So he's saying the bars that don't have a number associated with it are always 666? Is that what he's saying? Yes. The bars that separate the other numbers yeah. are sixes. Oh! Okay, I believe in Satan. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Sure, yeah. Once the computer scans this number, it has recorded everything about the item and its history, including its price. <gasps> <laughs> 
Before going any further, let's be clear on one central point. I'm nuts. We do not mean to suggest that you give us product code or... Wait, you, are you going to climb on top of me? Are you going to do something you can do to me? Or are you just talking about the video? Well, we're going to climb on top of the video. So we watched three videos, and I'm going to introduce them so I don't have to explain any of them. Son of a bitch. Uh, the first tape that we watched was How to Seduce Women Through Hypnosis. Who wants that one? I don't even know <laughs> who I want to torture with this. Um, it's clearly going to be rich. <laughs> Oh shit, I just doomed myself. You doomed yourself. <laughs> I was um, gonna give it to Rich, but. Okay, how to seduce women through hypnosis. There's a nude man and a lingerie up lady. She has more clothes on than he does. Yeah. Um, it's very I, progressive. Oh, is that what it, I yes, believe that's it is. Exactly it is what the I woman. I this tape as. It is the woman that appears on the tape who we will call eyebrows. And, but is not the man. I think that's her dream man. Can we just call her Eugene Levy? Eugenia Levy. Eugenia Levy. Uh, but that is not the man who hypnotizes and rapes her in the film. No. Wait, you already fucked up. You lose already. <laughs> you know, I think talking about this film and not using the word rape is nearly impossible. It's, it, not nearly, it's completely impossible. I'm throwing the rule book out the window. Um, this is her dream man who is not the man who she ends up being seduced and raped by in the yes, video. Yes, right. While uh, she's unconscious. While she's semi-conscious. Semi-conscious. Here's the thing, how to, and, and I'm gonna read the back because we don't normally get to do that on the wheel. Right. Um, yeah. And there is some text here. How to Seduce Women Through Hypnosis is a revolutionary videotape which combines easy to learn hypnotic techniques with the art of seduction. This program teaches you how to both meet and choose the woman who is suggestible to hypnosis. Look for someone. She's in the middle of the street. <laughs> She's in the middle of the street. A truck goes up. She's literally she in the middle, in the middle of, the of the street. <laughs> Notice, does she read oblivious to any distraction? What? An ability to become absorbed in one thing at a time is very important for a hypnotic subject. Oh, he's saying you could pick your victim if they appear to be, yeah. I guess, stupid. <laughs> she, she was talking to that guy and she was Focus. she was engrossed Focus. in his conversation. Yeah. Yeah. If they're so, unaware of their surroundings. Yes, yes. The motorcycle around the lady, she didn't even notice the motorcycle because she was into her book. Yeah. Makes her a good target because she's more susceptible to hypnosis. As a bonus, it also makes it easier to sneak up on them with a little watch. <laughs> yeah. Then through hypnosis and psychosexual stimulation Psy psychosexual yeah like psy psychologically sure. sexual sure but you hear you hear psycho and you think negative things of course and then you watch the video and you think negative things mm -hmm. uh, your chosen you and your chosen partner may both enjoy the benefits and pleasures of this fantastic method of seduction one will enjoy it more than the other the one who's conscious will probably enjoy it. Yeah, so we, we, we looked at this cover, How to Seduce Women Through Hypnosis, and kind of like that Malcolm Jamal Warner video, How to Be Cool at Parties, we thought it was going to instruct you, you know, how to seduce a woman. Like, I'm going to go out, I'm going to meet a woman, and I'm going to use some sort of terms or, or psychological tricks to, to get the woman to come home with me. Totally different than that. Why do women strive to be so beautiful? Makeup, clothing, aerobicized bodies, hair, nails, and tan skin are all common exercises for women to be sexy, attractive. We gotta look this up. guy up <laughs> and find out why he's in jail now. <laughs> oh yeah, we should mention the very beginning of this video is like creeper footage, where he just went to the beach and was just like zooming in on women in bikinis. Throughout time, man has devised many different and creative ways of seducing women. Like filming them without their knowledge. <laughs> you gotta find a nice quiet place to do this after you pick her. Yeah, like, like a, what do they say? A quiet, secluded beach. Mm. Uh, her park pool. Your, park your car in a deserted or, area. Or park your car in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and there's nothing creepy about that at all. Oh, I'm shocked she's not in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, 
how do you meet a girl? You go to a bar, which one's the dumbest? Well, b oh, but before that, remember this, that all women want to have sex. Oh yeah, they all want it. Because they all want you. That's the important thing to take away from this that's video. That's why they dress up, that's why they put up makeup, is to, is to have sex. And so all women want it. That's the important thing, number one point. <laughs> Well, women don't go out in public, especially to a bar or restaurant, unless they're looking for sex. No other reason. From a weirdo that walks up to them. Yeah. Um, well, I'm working part-time at this uh, publishing house, but I'm studying to be a hypnotherapist. Wow, really? What is that exactly? It's a treatment of disease through hypnosis. I've already graduated the hypnosis part, but now I'm reading up all the psychotherapy part, you know? But that's kind of complicated, actually, so I'm thinking about just practicing the hypnotist. Notice how John immediately establishes his credibility. He tells the group not only about his fun job, but his work. Trick them into thinking you're a normal, everyday person. <laughs> you just don't want sex. <laughs> you want to know about the woman. But like, he, he, he appeared credible by saying he's a hypnotist? <laughs> it is only through trust in you that a subject is to become willing. Let's see what happens next. Wow, I've always wanted to be hypnotized. <laughs> well, that's our winner right there. <laughs> Which one are you gonna pick? <laughs> when she says hypnotized, she really means be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> hypnotized means yes. The twist at the end of this was like an M. Night Shyamalan film. It had a big twist. I was not expecting them to go full on rape. It was weird. It's not rape, Mike. There's plenty of warnings at the front of the video to let you know <laughs> that this is not rape. And they even have, we see two scenarios. We see, first of all, it's like 45 minutes. He goes to her apartment. How about in this room? It's quiet in here. Oh, uh, well, do you have a couch or like a bed or something? Because this here. <laughs> <laughs> Bedrooms, living rooms, or office couches are great settings. And it's an especially good idea to disconnect the ring. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Make sure to lock the doors! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and don't forget, when you take your, uh, your partner, not your victim, not your mark, when you take your partner home to unplug her phone. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, because you don't want distractions or her calling for help or anything. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be weird. The, the setup of this is incredibly disturbing. He starts to put her under hypnosis. There's all this shit about like, what, what is he saying? Like you're looking in an elevator, Yeah. grab the lever, grab that lever. Place your hand on the lever and push it forward. Feel yourself descending deeper, and deeper, and deep. push on the left. It's lots of innuendos. There, there's innuendos, but they're presenting it as just sort of, this is what's happening in the Or as video. he calls them, in her endos. <laughs> and while she is under hypnosis, you start saying creepy, pervy, yes. sexually perverted things to her to sexually arouse her subconscious so that while she's half awake, <laughs> she will start to fuck you. Yes. yes. You're a horny than you've ever been in your whole life. Gradually, you will feel a burning sensation between your legs. It will keep increasing until you are having sex. Notice the burning begin. Physical sex is all that will quench the Oh, dear oh, God. Oh. Oh. Come, come. Oh, oh. Stop rubbing your mom jeans. <laughs> <laughs> and as I do, you will gradually awaken from this hypnotic state and become aware of the most erotic experience and most satisfying sex. Of your life. Oh. Oh no! 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 Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, she's not oh, awake! No. She's not awake! Rubbing her crutch! <laughs> <laughs> this is about rape! <laughs> this is oh, no. that's the weird thing about this video, is that it's 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 under the presumption that you will be able to take a woman who is agreeable to a private location with you. Mm -hmm. It's more complicated than the normal route to get to sex. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. All, like, like, you could make a video like how to pick up a woman in a bar or whatever, like 
buy her a drink, talk to her. It's and much it's, easier it's than this shit. Much <laughs> easier than this complex process of bringing her into all these sub-levels of psychosis down to, down to the very bottom where she's completely susceptible to stimulation. It's, it's very bizarre. It's very misleading. Yeah. Getting, getting her to go to the secluded romantic location alone with a stranger, that's the hard part. <laughs> yeah, and they breeze past that. They just say, well, well, they don't breeze past it. They say, like, this is the optimal scenario. But I can only imagine in a real life situation, getting to that optimal scenario is like sifting through thousands of women. I don't know. He only had to go through three. Oh, okay. So it's probably easy. I've always wanted to be hypnotized. So, so there's two scenarios in which the, the man definitely has sex with her while she's still under hypnosis. Yes. And then there's one scenario where they say, but if she says no, you got to get off. Don, stop. Don, stop. I can't do that. I'm engaged. Okay, then. Okay, all right. I thought you might need to have sex with you. Okay, all right. If they say no, we'll respect their wishes. Okay, well, Lisa included that. Legally, they needed to. Yeah. I will wake you in a few moments, and when I do, you will forget everything that went on during hypnosis. <laughs> <laughs> That's the key. <laughs> I s that, that's the that's the safety net. Oh my lord! Wow. <laughs> I certainly didn't try to have sex with you, no? Check, check please, check please. Oh, oh no! What? Wait, just as a little bonus at the end. A little here. bonus. This little is, side boob. This is what sex looks like. It yeah. Oh! Over the credits. Edited by Mike Cubs! Oh. What? For real? Oh, please. Uh, no. Is there anything else to say? <laughs> Rich? <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, you invited me over and you said, do you get comfortable? Lay down on my bed and I'm gonna, I'm gonna start talking. And you start talking about the ocean waves and then you went like this. You and Rich are good friends, so you trust me. Yeah. And the next thing I woke up, in a compromising situation, that's all I'll say. And ever since then... Now let me ask you a personal question. At some time in your life, has someone ever made you so angry, so upset, that you considered some form of retribution? Some form of revenge? So our next <laughs> tape that we watched, uh, maybe the most baffling thing? that we've watched on Wheel of the Worst. We've watched more offensive things, we've watched weirder things, but this is the most like, why is this something that exists? Uh, How to Get Revenge, hosted by Linda Blair. And Linda Blair, everyone knows is famous from The Exorcist. She's the little girl in The Exorcist. She's mostly known for The Exorcist. Well, she's also really known for... The Exorcist. But like her other big movie role. Well, she goes to a lot of conventions because of her role in The Exorcist. Does she have an eating disorder? Or I just associate her with throwing up pea soup? I mean, it's entirely possible. Now she dedicates a lot of her time to, to animal rescue. And, and she's, she's, she's causes. She's, yeah, she's big into that stuff. Do people still care what she has to say? <laughs> I bet you most people will still know her name because she was a little girl in some horror movie. I love Linda Blair. It's a shame she's not in more good stuff because I like she's, her a lot. She's such a good actress. <laughs> Don't worry. The check's in the mail. <laughs> well, Rich, uh, since you brought that up, why don't you talk about How to Get Revenge? How, how to Get Revenge is a video with Linda Blair where she, they just paid her to host. She doesn't really do anything. <laughs> And people talk about nasty, horrible, real ways to get dirty vengeance on people. In this case, I waited a couple of months. And then I hit him on several levels. First of all, I took a death certificate and whited out the former information, filled in his name there. And along with a letter stating that I was his wife, I sent the uh, death certificate and the letter off to the Bureau of Internal Revenue and the Social Security office. 
Not like, not like joke. Not like I'm gonna put a little fart bag on your chair and you sit down. And <laughs> Those make are fart called noise. whoopee cushions. Whoopee not cushions. like fart bags. This is <laughs> are fart bags the off-brand version of a whoopee cushion? <laughs> Rich can't afford a whoopee cushion. <laughs> so no, I, fart had, bag. I had to get the off-brand. You had to get super a fart value bag. fart bag. <laughs> Rich has to go to the fifty cent store. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't get he couldn't get the whoopee cushion from the dollars. Whoopee cushion? Well, what kind of high city highfalutin cushion is that? I get a family value fart bag and I enjoy it. <laughs> Rich is shot. Rich shops at the same <laughs> store. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Rich, you got revenge on that tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get yeah. the tape. That's fine. <laughs> We need it for visual it's aid. Fine. Fart back. <laughs> Fart back. So the, the videotape. It talks about ways to ruin people's lives. And, and I'm still thinking about fart bags. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hashtag fart bag. <laughs> it's a very strange way to put that. Right. It's great. Okay. Okay. Mm. Well, an important thing to note is that the video is not meant to be comedic. Uh, it? It's a little lighthearted. There, there's, there's lighthearted elements, but the things they're telling you are not jokes. Take a can of black spray paint, spray the headlights. Let's say that Mark is a family man. You know, a wife, two kids, a dog. What can you do to disrupt the entire family? Now, if your Mark is a member of the minority, you might turn him over to the immigration service. By the way, there are dozens upon dozens of homosexual and bisexual magazines available today. I found if you mail these to the Mark's place of work, you can start rumors or quickly get them fired. There had been a series of robberies at a local convenience store chain. Now with that in mind, I planted a toy handgun under the truck seat, and I threw in a city map with the locations of the convenience store circled in red and a few newspaper clippings about the robberies. Then I went to a telephone and phoned the police and stated anonymously that I had seen where the robber lived and that I had seen his gun in his truck. Remember that awesome trick about planting a gun in a guy's oh, truck yeah. and then calling the cops? After framing him for robbing liquor stores. Mm -hmm. But that, that's because, Rich, don't forget what he did. It looks to me like your orders to go. I was terrified. Came into the Chinese restaurant where the guy was trying to eat food with chopsticks and, and sat at his table. <laughs> Well, he poured the food on his lap, right? He, he bullied him a little. Yeah. That's worth the cops almost murdering the man. <laughs> How do you feel now? Confident. Of course I don't go causing trouble for other people, but at least I know I have the confidence in myself to know I can get even with anyone. Confidence. The late 80s, early 90s was, as we've said numerous times, the, the age of instructional videos, the yes. cheap the cheaply made instructional videos on every fucking topic in the world because any asshole with a video camera could produce mm -hmm. a shit video like this or a shit video like this and make a quick buck. Yeah. And this is one some idiot sat, sat around and go, Ooh, what about a video of cool ways to you know, get revenge on people? Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. Uh, they had some budget because they could afford Linda Blair. Uh, Do they really need much of a budget? All of their budget went to Linda Blair and to the, the early digital blocking of someone's face out. <laughs> oh yeah. The video toaster effect. You wanna make your mark real paranoid? Listen to what another one of my clients did. My former boss fired me for no damn reason whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure there was a reason, sir. Uh, I should I'm tell sure. you about. He never had no reason. Much like this one, which is a disclaimer, don't rape anybody. This one says, don't do any of this. Yeah. Uh, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Does it only? say entertainment purposes only? Something like that. Something to that effect. But then the whole video, there's nothing entertaining about it. And it is literally just put, you can put sugar in someone's gas tank. Like it's real things that you can do. Yeah, put, put shit in people's gas tank. You can uh, go under their hood and just rip out wires. Then they're going to be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Not just that though, there's, there's information here on how to ruin somebody financially. They talk about how to completely fuck up someone's social security. So we're talking like, like 50 years down the road. <laughs> Next year comes tax time, he's screwed with the internal revenue. Down the road a ways when he wants to change jobs, he's screwed again. And way down the road when he finally wants to collect, 
no social security benefits. <laughs> <laughs> hit him in the pocketbook, eh? Better yet, hit him while he's down. That's <laughs> horrible. The player's into him. Well, uh, clearly every, everything in the video is highly illegal and will get you in big trouble. There's the, mail fraud, there's tampering with the mail. Yeah, well the one big, the bad one, I mean other than property damage, the one guy's going through a car engine. You could do this, do this. This is where you put the windshield washer fluid. But instead of putting the fluid, what you put in is cooking oil. What happens then, when the mark starts as windshield washers, oil goes all over the windshield, which attracts a lot of dirt and a lot of dust. Anything could result in, in death. Happy motoring. <laughs> Aren't you glad he's not your mechanic? Whew. The, the revenge, where is the even the tape? The tape's on the ground because Rich threw it in a fit of anger. The revenge plots in this should be equivalent to the crime that is committed against the person yeah. seeking the revenge. I think they were. And they are very off kilter. I think you're not setting I've got, for... I've got news for you. There's no reason any of these have to be for revenge. Anybody could do any of these things just to be a dick. <laughs> That's basically the title of the video, is how to be a huge dick. But or maybe look, just look. to commit some kind of insurance fraud. <laughs> but look, there was a disclaimer at the front of the video that said, don't do any of this. Oh, sure, you're right. Which is so, very smart. I did like the, the locked gas cap one. What you do here is remove the unlocking gas cap and replace it with the locking gas cap. You just screw it on here, turn it, Take the key. That's the important thing here. You have to take the key. Well, it'd be nice to keep somebody from pouring sugar down your gas caps, like they instruct you to do in this video. That, yeah. that would have been a funny scene in this. Like, you gotta pour sugar in there. Oh, oh shit. Fuck, there's a lock on it. I, I guess I'll just cut their brake lines. <laughs> <laughs> you cut their brake lines when they're driving and they hit that brake, the car won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be so confused. <laughs> they may hit pedestrians like a small child. Mr. Vickers, could you give us an example of what could be done to a former friend or lover? A few examples, huh? So, Officer Vickers, Detective Vickers, what is his name? Mr. Vickers. Um, Mr. Vickers? So, doc, scientist Vickers? Doctor he has Vickers. a lab coat. He has, he, has a, he has a PhD in revenge. <laughs> <laughs> I had this client whose best friend came to him and talked him into investing in a real estate scam. A real a skate scam? Dad? This is what you guys what you gotta do. You gotta Well you gotta look down a lot because your your script is right in front of you. You gotta steal some stationery from the hotel and you gotta you gotta write a letter saying your wife left a shoe here. No no You didn't mispronounce any words. Yeah. Yet there are just a few who feel a great need to stress their superiority over decent... This guy's drunk. I think he's drunk. Yeah. Even though you know, the wife wasn't there, but once the wife sees that, she's gonna think that her husband was, was fucking around with some girl. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, pretty yeah. Good. Yeah, they, 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 uh, they propose that these characters in the film are former police detectives, or I'm a police detective who wants to keep his identity safe. It's a bunch of bullshit. It's all bullshit. They're all actors. The, the uh, older actor, who we said should have been played by Orson Welles, <laughs> and in the later part of his career. He's always been celebrated for its excellence. Like, it, like the very end. Yeah. The very last project he worked on was how to get revenge. Like hours before he went to record his voiceovers for the Transformers yes. movie. He had the heart monitor attached to him while being Mr. Vickers. <laughs> yes. And so, Beep. He's like, Beep. Oh, how to get revenge. And he's, and he's drunk out of his mind. Uh, this guy was like that. He was drunk. He was incoherent. He knew his revenge, though. Oh, I'll give sure, him that. Sure. He had a lot of good ideas. and He was a hateful prick. But remember what the Bible says. An eye for an eye. Remember this guy did my client in. Okay, then I finally topped off the whole escapade by severing his marriage. They did a lot of research for this fucking thing, didn't they? That's what I wanted to say, Rich. Oh. This really felt thorough. Mm -hmm. uh, pointless, but <laughs> thorough. 
If your Mark happens to be in a business where he meets customers... This is one of the most terrifying images ever, yeah. <laughs> by the way. Yeah, it's not pixelated enough. Like, you can see his mouth moving and the eyes. Yeah, so it's weird. The eyes are the weirdest part. Yeah. If you squint your eyes, I don't know how well this will translate on YouTube, but if you squint your eyes and look at the pixelated face, it kind of looks like a normal face if it was like in liquid. Yes. It had very crazy weird. eyes. Yeah, it, with it, crazy it, eyes. It looks like uh, uh, Christopher Lloyd at the end of Roger Rabbit. It's really beautifully creepy. But also they, they do an amazing job of hiding his face. Oh, and... Um, his face wasn't pixelated when it did the dissolve. Did you see that? No. It was like they couldn't do two effects at once. So, uh, detective... We know who you are, and we're posting your image here for the internet to see. We're gonna send 15 pizzas to your house. And then ruin your marriage. <laughs> so your wife commits suicide. Isn't that funny? <laughs> also, I've already filed your fake death certificate. Good luck getting social security now that you're aged. <laughs> <laughs> also, I took your credit card out in your name, and I just bought a house. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. Have fun with crippling <laughs> debt. <laughs> <laughs> and Rich put a bunch of <laughs> on your. Oh, <laughs> fuck's sake! <laughs> what? It was just a simple transfer through Dropbox. <laughs> Revenge is a natural emotion. We were so happy. I was. I was hoping that he was going to ask me to marry him. Uh oh. What? Then he cheated on you. And then Victoria came along. I knew it. Let me explain that Victoria was a very popular, attractive girl. She was also the head cheerleader. And then I got angry. Really angry. And that's when I called Mr. Vickers. This is like a drug video. Like this lady seems like a crack addict. <laughs> First thing we found out was that Victoria had dated several guys around campus. An awful lot of them were on the athletic teams on the university. So we gave them all that syphilis. Belinda <laughs> set up an appointment at the free clinic for an examination. Uh-oh. I had Belinda find out the names of the various athletes on the, uh, well, as a matter of fact, all the athletes on all the sports teams <laughs> around the university. <laughs> Can you be drunker? <laughs> to each of them. The letter stated that Victoria had been to the free clinic and had tested positive for syphilis. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you did it! Fucking syphilis! Seriously? It's syphilis! Fucking syphilis! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> you did it! Oh, no, 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 I had a drink on there. It's now all over the floor. <laughs> Don't you just love happy endings? So that's that. Uh, our final. Nope. Oh, how many times has oh, that been? I, I you didn't even get it off the table that time. <laughs> uh, uh, so our last tape of the night, eight, ten minutes long. Beautiful. Uh, UPC codes and six six six. Beware the mark of the beast, Jack. Is the mark of the beast? Yeah. I was really excited to get this, uh, mostly. Because when we watched the, the wonderful oddity that was SOS, yes. there was a whole part. SOS. SOS. That song is so catchy. It's a shame that the people that made it are child molesters. But in any case, uh, at the end of uh, SOS, as it got crazier and crazier, there was this whole part about being. Uh, being aware of how evil barcodes are. Yeah, the supermarket section of the video. Yes, and I had never heard this before, that like barcodes were synonymous with the mark of the beast and the sign of end times and how you shouldn't trust supermarket barcodes. Right. So I saw, see this on the wheel <laughs> and I want some information. And surprisingly, like it, it doesn't have much to it. It's, no. it's got Captain Balding, and a really good breakdown of what a UPC code does. Yeah, there, there is some information to be gained from this video. The second set of numbers can be thought of as a category number. It tells the computer where the item is located in the computer banks. Ba basically, all you need to know about this VHS, I, I will summarize this VHS in one sentence. Okay. 
which is one of the barcode symbols, the two thin lines, equals six. And on most supermarket barcodes, there are three sets of two thin lines to begin, middle, and end the barcode, six, six, six. Separate the, the, the sections of it. Separate the sections. Now those little lines could just be separators, like most people would assume, or <coughs> are they six, 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 the mark of the beast? That's a, literally the whole video. Enumerating, assigning a number and value to these items, and yes, simple arithmetic, adding the numbers to produce a result. So 21. <laughs> you did it, Rich. You cracked the code. Uh, we do have a couple bar here on Seduce Women. There's some bar codes. <laughs> and you will see the... Three I would believe that video is the work of the devil. Three sets of two thin lines. That, yeah. that has the mark of the rape on it. Yeah. Mark of the, well, you know. It's very similar. It's close. We have another barcode here. What is this one? This is... Um, oh, is that a copy of Space Cop on Blu-ray? It's a copy of Space Cop on Blu-ray. Does that feature uh, like a commentary track and outtakes and it deleted does. scenes? It has a commentary track featuring Mike Stiklas, uh, Jay Bullman, and Richard Evans. Okay. Uh, oh, it has outtakes, deleted scenes. Oh, wow. Behind the scenes features. Uh, also, Value. Also, also isolated stuff on this music desk. and effect tracks. That's like, wow. That's that's not something that anyone would ever listen to, but that's cool. That's really nice. I've I've heard good things. I haven't seen it yet myself, but uh, but it has it has a barcode on the back here. Sure, sure. And on the back of the barcode, you can you can see the three sets of two thin lines. So is it possible those thin lines are just a way to separate? Because as they explained in this video. There's the first set of numbers and the second set of numbers, and they both serve different purposes. Yeah. So are those thin lines just a way to separate those two? They are. Is that, is that a possibility? It's yes. Quite, because he also goes into explaining how the computer reads the codes, mm -hmm. how there are different sections, and so it's very likely that those long sets of thin lines are how the computer knows when the first section starts and when the second, second section starts and ends. Yeah. Or it's the Mark of the Beast, and it's, these are the end times. It's probably the Mark of the Beast, yeah. Also, you know it's end times because this video was made 30 years ago, and it's... Well, there is no, there is no definition on what end times means. Sure. Could be 100 years. Yeah. Could be one year, could be 100. Uh, Clearly, they thought VHS would be around for however long that takes until we get to the end of times. In the final days of this world order, is there any doubt that our buying and selling system will be conducted with a mark, with credit transactions rather than cash? Is it this path that leads to destruction? But I don't, like for the majority of shopping, like the uh, UPC codes still exist, but like with online shopping, you don't use a UPC code. With, right. With Direct sales, you don't use UPC well, like, codes. They, you know what, they probably do with their warehouses though to keep track of all this shit. But they said specifically the warehouse That's codes true. don't have the mark of the beast. That's, That's true. true. Inventory control codes, for example, do not use 666. And the reason is simple. Inventory control does not directly involve buying and selling. Remember, looks can be deceiving. Because 666 pertains directly to the buying or selling of goods, not just the management of yes, goods. Get it management. together, Rich. Yeah, really. Did you not watch the same <laughs> video? Either? Or are you just corrupted by Satan? Well, <laughs> obviously I'm corrupted by Satan. Oh, okay. I tried watching the video, but I had a very hard time reading yes. the Bible passages because they had the text in front of like a marble countertop. <laughs> And you couldn't read a fucking word that the, they said. Well, that's because their graphic graphic artist was Satan. He was corrupted by Satan. The Antichrist did the credits for this video. <laughs> also surprisingly edited by Mike Hunt. Not by cr uh, credited and certified editor Mike Hunt. It was edited literally by my cunt. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're a lady this whole time? Didn't you guys know? I didn't, I didn't know. Oh, yeah. I never thought to ask. I mean, I didn't think you were a man. Right. You're a lady? I can't believe I had sex with you. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait a minute, that hypnotism session wasn't just a friendly meeting? I... Oh no. <laughs> guys, guys, I always knew the rec and pre-rec stood for rectum. <laughs>
Damn I you. always knew. You know, that's going to stick around too, that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't put that one in. You put it right in there. You walked right into it. You slid it right in. <laughs> you lubed it up and slid it right in, Rich. <laughs> you just, you put it right in my hands and said, put it right in, Mike. Deception. Miracles. Male pattern belt. <laughs> We can help you with all of these. <laughs> so the first set of numbers, zero through nine, are these codes, and the second set of numbers, zero through nines, are these codes, and that's where we get the two thins. So oh, act six actually has. Here, here's here's where the here's where the logic starts to break down. It's from okay. the second set of numbers. Is six actually has has two different sets? Yes. Of lines that denote sixes. So what this really is is humans really like patterns, mm -hmm. constellations, right? We look, we look up into the stars, which are random, and we see, we see fucking a belt, right? We see, we see archers, and we a see horse. crabs. We see a horse, we see shit, we see a spoon. We got two spoons, we got two spoons <laughs> in more, our stars. Not a ladle. It was a big spoon. We like seeing patterns and things, and so some crazy person who was, you know, reading their Bible and remembering the 666 looks at this, sees a pattern where there might not be a pattern. Yeah, because the first set of six, the six in the first set is a different, it's a different thing. I'm, I'm chalking this all up to the big C, but it is neat. It is. It's, it's, it's moderately to semi-moderately interesting. Well, let's assume that the devil is trying to get us through the products that we purchase. Okay, what, uh, what's he gonna do? What, what's he gonna do when I buy my copy, when I go to the store and I buy my copy of How to Seduce Women Through Hypnosis, what, what is the devil gonna do? <laughs> At that point, you're fucked anyways, but religiously. <laughs> but the, the mark of the beast was you have to resist the mark of the beast. Right. If you accept it, then you go to hell. So you have so to I'm resist gonna go it. to hell for buying some Rice Krispies? Absolutely. Like, fuck that. God is a prick. You're going to hell for so many more reasons than buying Rice Krispie treats. Okay. So don't worry about you going to hell. Mm, that's <laughs> the next thing though is the, the uh, uh, RFID tags yeah. and how that is the next mark of the beast. How they say like, you know, they have chips and dogs mm -hmm. where your dog runs away, you can find it. The next logical step is putting a chip in a person. Will it be in the right hand? Will it be in the forehead? Where will they put the chip? And then there'll be a whole new thing. <laughs> the, the chip that will track your missing child who's been kidnapped or lost grandpa from the senior citizen's home or whoever, or someone who just went missing. It's a great idea to put chip in every person. Yeah. Religious people will say, that's the new mark of the base. 2036, we'll look back on a video and everyone about will the chips. agree that they're right. The, chi the chips in people are the new marks of the beast, and that's true. No, no, no. I, They'll all look back and say that was silly, that we all thought that that was <laughs> Satan. I, obviously, yeah. that was me playing I, being I a hope they put Those it are, were, okay. in the right hand and the forehead just to fuck with the fundies. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not a fundy. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I'm into the Jesus. <laughs> you didn't know that about Mike? That's where we met. Did you like find Jesus like yesterday? Yeah, what, what I happened? found him. Me and Jack met at church. We met at church. Found him. He, you know what he was? He was, he was in the back room. Then did Antichrist show up and they had to fight because it's like they're bad guys and good guys. Antichrist is such a weird name to me. It yeah. sounds like a supervillain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the evil inverse of Jesus. And the original Hebrew Antichrist meant shitty Jesus. <laughs> Which, which didn't mean he was bad. He just—he was just a normal guy just, who couldn't do anything. He was magical. like Jesus, just shitty. He was like Jesus, but he didn't have any magic power. So I'm like, you're like a shitty Jesus. <laughs> That's just Jesus. Yeah. And he was so pissed at Jesus, oh. he wrote a letter to the IRS saying that Jesus was dead. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's where the the three day miracle came from. Yeah. Actually, the historical uh, little. Because Jesus wrote a counter letter to the IRS saying he had risen. But it took three, three days, days after his death. Yeah. It took three days of postage to get oh, to sure, the Roman sure. era. Hence, religion. Yeah. So it's just a clerical it. error. It was a clerical error by the IRS, which created our Lord and Savior. We are seeing four sets of numbers, but the first set is always the same number. It never changes. It's always there. That number is 666. Yeah, okay. On either side. This is so dumb, I can't even formulate a sentence. 
<laughs> so we have how to seduce women through hypnosis, how to get revenge, and how to UPCs and 666. Uh, Mike, what, what is the best of the worst? <sighs> it's a toss up. It's definitely not this. It's a toss up between this. I found some of the info about UPC codes interesting. I knew UPC codes were associated with the Mark of the Beast. I did not know how the 666 was integrated. That was like, oh, that had an O oh moment for me. Yeah. Uh, this, I think I'm gonna have to pick this because while it is, everything in there is horribly illegal and could lead to death, suicide, all sorts of horrible consequences. It is meant for entertainment purposes only. I, <laughs> I learned some interesting things. I'm like, oh, it's a good way to get revenge on someone. It's awful. Yeah. Uh, and it was just poorly produced enough to be sort of funny. There, there was lots of what we didn't mention. There's lots of uh, talking to the camera, cut to a different angle, and then them turning towards that camera. <laughs> There's a lot of that. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and say my choice for destruction this needs to be wiped off the face of the earth. <laughs> Jack? I, I couldn't agree more. I, I would, in a perfect world, I would say let's choose nothing, but the bad production value makes How to Get Revenge win for me, even though it's horrible. Rich? Uh, well, this is some good old fashioned Christian values right there. Uh, so some nice fear mongering, and <laughs> we're all gonna die soon. That's interesting. Uh, this is <laughs> That's interesting. This is kind of great. <laughs> I, I, I love the fact that out there there is a videotape with information on how to destroy people's lives. Yeah. So this is my best of the worst. And yeah, I, I, let's destroy the rape tape. <laughs> <laughs> the rape tape. Oh God, I think, well, this is the worst. Uh, this is the second worst, and this is the least offensive. Uh, plus it has Linda Blair in it, and she's oh, delightful. Yeah, she's a lovely lady. So, so this is my best of the worst, just by default. Uh, and, and this is the worst thing ever. It's, it's unanimous. We, this is the most worthy <laughs> tape to destroy. No weird old man with beard needs to watch this and get any funky ideas. Because <laughs> there are far too many unsuspecting ladies out there that need to be protected by the likes of us. <laughs> Just in case sure. some weird man watches this. How remote a possibility. <laughs> we need to destroy this. Absolutely. Also, ladies, trim your eyebrows.